I had a guy tell me recently that women being funny isn't even in the top five characteristics that men look for. Mm. And then the day later, I had a guy reach out and be like, I was interested in you because of your personality. I only want someone who thinks I'm funny. I yeah. cannot date a guy who doesn't think I'm funny or tries to undermine it. Like, this okay. could potentially come off weird, but I think a sense of humor on a girl is more attractive or more of a requirement than her being funny. If she yep. can't understand mm. my jokes and like banter and be funny mm. with me, that's... A no go. I can't do yeah. it. She if you're wanting friends, it, which is essentially what both parties parties want, and I'm telling jokes and you're not laughing, I'm like, okay, maybe that wasn't funny. But then if I try to get your sense of humor <laughs> and I'm trying to make you laugh, then essentially as a dude, I become a clown. I'm just here to amuse you. Like I'm a clown. Well, what do they say on Goodfellas? <laughs> I'm just here to amuse you. So I think most men are kind of they want to shy away from that the guys i would say that try to mirror exactly what you want <laughs> and what you're looking for might come off as disingenuous to you right so just be careful of those that oh man she's so hilarious not saying that you can't be funny to a guy a lot of times a guy is going to be like can we can we vibe is our energy the same if i'm telling jokes and i know i pulled it back and these jokes are not weird because uh, I, I have a lot of whatever it is. I know these jokes are not weird. It's just not you're just not laughing. So apparently we don't go together and I'm about to go on my way. But for a dude, you being funny <laughs> isn't necessarily something that they need. She doesn't have to be funny in her own self. She just has to understand it. She just has to like my funny. Yeah, she just has to laugh at my jokes. I don't want her to be funny. I'm the star. If you're a guy and you're on the dating apps and you're trying to approach a female on the dating apps and try to land a date, this is what you should do. I'm going to tell you this from a female's perspective. Look good. Look like you have money. That's it. <laughs> If so, you can have your own version of what you believe, but this is just what I always wanted to see when I was on the dating apps and what I talk about with my girls as well who use dating apps to this day. We all like a male that is confident and strong and brave, okay, and has courage, okay? So with all those things together, if you go into the dating app and you have a strong app profile, watch my part one to know what you should put in your profile in terms of your pictures, but the way to approach a female is to directly ask her out. Skip the fluff, skip the like, so what's new with you? Or like, why are you on this app? Or where are you from? Like all of those pickup lines are so boring. And the girl is getting like so many DMs every single day from these people that are asking the same questions. And you, the male, is probably getting the very same response as well from all these females. And that's why it's so frustrating because there's so many like surface level conversations. It's surface level because we don't know each other. It's a similar to what you have in a job interview. What you're trying to do is make the man send you a cover letter when you could just say, hey, how's it going? Are you interested in this man? Are you reading this man's profile in order to say, am I interested in this? Right. Is this man saying things that I would be in line with? And as a man, your profile, <laughs> you darn near have to write like a romantic novel in order to catch a woman's attention assuming that you're not the best looking assuming you're average looking you darn near have to do that in order for them to make a connection being that they can't see you i applaud some of these dating apps in the way that they're thinking of okay here's a voice prompt so the person can see you or here's a video prompt so the person can see you and make more of a connection to you but in terms of like just coming direct and stuff like that Women, there are a lot of women out here that still want to have a man come up with a pickup line. And so, hey, how's it going? I've literally seen it uh, in the past to where a woman was like, don't say hi to me or else we're not going to match. Like come with something more than hi. And you're like, OK, that's weird. And then when you finally land a date, it doesn't go well. And then you have to go back to the drawing board. And it's just like it feels like nails on the chalkboard. So straight up ask her out, okay? I remember when I was on the dating apps when the guy would straight up say, hey, 
Nice to meet you. Do you want to go out for dinner at the sushi place at seven o'clock on Friday night? It was so direct. That message was more exciting to receive because then on the first date, you can do all the fluff. You can do all of the small talk. And then you can also see body language to see like, is this person even into you? Or you can ask more like deep and authentic questions to get to know who they are on a deeper level. You can't really do that over messaging as much like you can, but a lot of people are in a shell and it's uncomfortable to do that. So I see what she's saying, but that direct approach, I'm telling you right now, does not work like, OK, maybe for you. But if you say, hey, let's go out, you can get on TikTok right now and they say, oh, man, that's not. I actually think I I did. There's a video. Um, She was trying to get with the guy. I think it had, the video has something to do with like the title of it says something about Riz or something like that. And the woman said, if you try to get in, like if you try to move to a date, like if you try to ask me out with the within the first few text messages or really quickly, then that's not going to work for me either, because I don't even know if you're a psychopath. I haven't had time to know you. Be careful, because <laughs> that's what I'm saying. As a man out here trying to date, whether it be on a dating app or whatever, you're pretty much on your own. And I hate to say it like this. <laughs> you you have to get around some dudes that are married or about to be or maybe they're not even married, but you listen to them and they're trying to lead you in the right path. Right. Because the, some of these won't be out here saying stuff and be like, no, that's not even they don't even believe it. They think they believe it, but they don't even believe it. When you're in real life and you have that conversation on the first date, it also can build the suspense and kind of like make the spark happen. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know exactly what to say like on the apps that like the males can start the conversation, what you can say is, do you want to go out for dinner at X restaurant at seven o'clock on Friday or Saturday? Because those are like prime time dates. And they're going to say, I appreciate you asking, but let's get to know each other a little bit more on the apps before we talk about that, because that's what normal people would do before I go out with somebody who might be crazy and trying to take my life, because that's what a lot of women think nowadays in the dating market. I'm going to talk to them. We're going to have a FaceTime or a video chat so I can see this person and hopefully I won't be catfished. And then you can also see body language to see like, is this person even into you? Or you can ask more like deep and authentic questions to get to know who they are. On a she's dating like a woman. Uh, she's speaking like a woman. I see what she's talking about. Men don't. A lot of men don't really need this uh, in order to make a distinction and determination. But I see where she's coming from. Deeper level. You can't really do that over messaging as much like you can, but a lot of people are in a shell and it's uncomfortable to do that. So when you're in real life and you have that conversation on the first date, it also can build the suspense and kind of like make this spark happen. So if you want to know exactly what to say like on the apps that like the males can start the conversation, what you can say is, do you want to go out for dinner at X restaurant at seven o'clock on Friday or Saturday? Because those are like prime time dates, date nights. Okay. And if the girl is not free on a Friday or Saturday, that should kind of be a red flag because maybe she's dating like a ton of other people. No, it shouldn't. That woman might be busy. You see why this is bad advice? She might be busy. What are you talking about right now? People. And she's not that serious about being in a long term relationship. Girl. Okay. That's just like a hypothetical scenario, but like if your girl is not free during prime time, maybe she's with another man. I don't know. Because if- What do you, where you even get this from? Just because these people might have business trips. What, with all these strong independent women out here that don't need no man, that, that, that ain't worried about a man. You don't think this woman is out here busy or something? All right. All right, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of women in trouble. Every message you get is like, how's your day going? Or like, what's new with you? Or how is work? Or just stupid stuff like this. It's like, you don't even know me. Why do you even give a shit my work day? What are you talking about? You don't even know me. Why do you give it? Because I'm trying to get to. He's a psychopath. This woman is mentally unstable. Was. And then all of a sudden you get a fresh new message that says, girl, go find a seat back there and sit down. 
hey, do you wanna go out for dinner at this time on Friday night? And you're just like, yeah, like that sounds like fun, right? So you wanna be that person that really stands out. That is confidence, okay? Like if you wanna be confident in the virtual space, it's asking her out right away, being super direct. And then obviously she's gonna to go to your profile. She's gonna look at your pictures. So make sure you have the pictures that I recommend in part one of the series, okay? Again, this is just the female perspective. This is just what I always look for when I was on the dating apps, along with all of my friends that are still on the dating apps to this day, okay? One more thing for all the guys out there that were commenting on my part one post saying like, what else? oh my gosh, I have to be super tall. I have to be rich and I have to be like all these things in order for a female to like me. I just want to let you know, you're being really, really hard on yourself, okay? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I, I do agree with that. Like you don't have to be, <laughs> don't have to be super tall and really, really rich in my experience but it would be nice if you put yourself together a little bit more in terms of uh maybe a picture of you in some nice clothes or a suit or uh like shaving or like if you have a beard make sure that's taken care of pay attention to your nails um they really don't like that if you have like dirty nails uh make sure you brush your teeth before you i mean you should be doing these things for yourself but especially before you get on camera like if a girl is about, to, if a woman's about to come over, make sure like your house is swept, the dishes are done. Like if you know you have time to like make sure the covers are washed and all those things. Like I said, you should be doing this on a regular, but women like presentation. That's what makeup is. It's presentation. It's hiding blemishes and things of that nature. So when they come to your house, presentation, is it a little bit of what some men might call fakeness a little bit yeah if you strip it down and give it the reality but you know when you're think about it as pitching for a potential uh business transaction like you want that you want to land that big business deal and so you make the powerpoint presentation or the slide deck you make it something that's like big and you might go to some sort of website and get some already polished uh slide deck and then just put your info in it and send it out because it looks really good that's kind of how women are I hate to say it like that hey because that type of guy that's like tall and rich and like all the perfect things you might be attracting a gold digger. if you literally think the only reason why a female likes you is because you have a lot of money then that is literally what a gold is okay if you want a partner a female partner that loves you for who you are and just wants to be in your energy and vice versa like you guys support each other and you keep her safe and you keep her happy and you make her feel like she is a beautiful queen okay if you want a relationship like that where then she makes you feel like a king and she takes care of you and it's just like this perfect balance then you have to understand it's not just about your money it's not it's about the way that you make her feel a hundred percent so you can do that through messaging through straight up asking her on a date because when you are with her in person at a restaurant that is how you can really show your true self okay you can let your humor go like you can throw out a, a few jokes or something you can share different stories your experiences of life okay and you can find the things that you guys have in common when you're talking in real life that's when your communication skills kick in okay i just don't want you guys to feel so bad about yourself like oh i don't i'm not attractive or i'm not making all this money or i'm not tall or whatever like Appreciate i that. commented on someone's like post or whatever from from my last post or someone's comment from my last post that was like oh you have to be tall guys i literally dated someone that was shorter than me and i was making more money than him and i liked him okay like we dated it happened so it's not like it's this situation never happens you don't have to be tall you don't have to make all this money you just have to be confident you have to know what you want you have to make her feel like she is safe okay okay let me know if you want a part three uh so i disagree with the way she's trying to get you out there to do it but I think I understand her concept and a point. Her overall point is she's trying to get you to get her out of the house. You know what I mean? So a lot of women are going to want that. It doesn't matter if it's a modern woman or a traditional woman. It, it doesn't matter. They want you. They they not going to ask you. <laughs> they not going to ask you for what they want. They're going to try to make you read their mind. Right. So get me out of the house so I can see you. They not going to be the ones to ask to ask you on a date or like, hey, why don't we go here? They want you to say, hey, what do you think about this place? Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. What about what do you say Friday at six? OK, yeah, yeah. All right. 
you need me to pick you up or are you going to meet me there? Uh, whatever make, whatever makes you feel safe. And so what she's essentially talking about is get me out of my shell <laughs> so that I can see you in an environment. And if you're not crazy, then I like you. Uh, so I, I, I respect that. Uh, the the concept behind it, but it's it's a lot of words to say. Get me out the house. I am so pissed because I got left on red twenty minutes ago. I just want love, it's I too want bad. affection, but no, you keep playing with my. Never mind. He just texted me asking me if I want to come over. Are you gonna go over? <laughs> Understand about most black women that I know. Most of us, contrary to popular belief, don't just want a man. We want the man that we want. We want a man that we desire. We want a man that we're actually attracted to. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, <sighs> intellectually. Um, and if you're ask. not that, you <laughs> know what I mean? A lot to ask. Nowadays. It is a lot to ask. It's and I not a lot it's to not. ask. <laughs> you know, maybe it isn't a lot to ask, but it's a whole bunch of jumbled words. It's a bunch of corporate speak in the dating world. And then when people hear these buzzwords, they just keep on repeating them. And they find them a corporate man, which in this day and age would be a Chad or a Tyrone, a corporate guy who knows how to finesse, who knows how to speak to you, who knows how to present himself in the right way. And then you get tricked because Chad and Tyrone knows how to play the corporate game. That's why you have directors and managers and some of these things, some of these things, because they know how to politic. You're looking for somebody who knows how to politic, politic right around your feelings and mess over you and then go find somebody else. And then you'd be mad and be trying to kick all men down because he messed with, he messed over you and you wasn't looking at his character. I don't I think that. it is. No, I swear to God, everybody trying to convince us that we need to accept the bare minimum. You don't have to holler. Minimum needs to go somewhere. No, that is not a lot to ask. I swear to God, the bars in hell. It's no, but I agree with you because yeah. if I just they don't have want it. That, they want love. My point. Yeah. yeah. They want so if you if you're control. not all of those things, if I don't desire you, I really don't want you. Real boss men, they do not desire a financial or an intellectual equal. <laughs> they are not attracted to it. It is a turn off. The pee pee goes. Burp, it does. <laughs> I'm telling y'all the truth. They they did not go to law school, L'Oreal, so they could end up with a peer. Mm. They went to law school, they went to medical school, or they mate. went to Harvard MBA Somebody so that they could be me. the dominant, yeah. so that they could run the shop. We're all single here on this panel. Are you single? I now? am definitely single. I'm <laughs> newly single. Yeah. I've been single a very long time. Yeah. And mm. single. And all successful, yes. which is scary. So it is that hard, it's, right? It's, We're <laughs> saying it's not that hard, but you have four successful women. The, it's too bad, isn't it? And that's too bad. Because you sit up here and talk all this trash and then get home, go home alone. I hate that for you. Maybe one day you realize that it, it it is possible to be successful financially, but then also be in a relationship. You don't have to run the shop. You don't have to run the show. You can let the man do that at some point in time. But if you want to be a boss, babe, you can stay right there with all your success, talking amongst your single ladies who are successful and see how that works out for you. Oh, uh, yeah. That's just my opinion. Until the next video. Until the next video. Um, I'm out. <laughs>